welcome back to part two of the Sherman diorama I've been putting together. Um, thanks for all the nice comments and feedback that have been left since the first video. Um, it included a few which made me rethink things a little. Um, you may have noticed a slight change in the titles as I've moved the time and location now of this diorama and brought it forward eight months and 700 kilometers. So it's come from Normandy 1944 to the French region of Alsace. Um, the German, French-German border um, and into February 1945. The reason for this was the Sherman Easy 8 uh, didn't actually see action until the Battle of the Bulge in December 44. So obviously it couldn't have been in Normandy six months earlier. So note to self, do more research first next time. The second slight difference uh, you may have noticed is I've given the, the workbench a bit of a spring clean uh, and tidy. I've changed the colour of the worktop, uh, decluttered a little and I've uh, even installed a little light, which uh, helps things immensely now. I wish I hadn't got that a long time ago. So in this video, I'm going to build up the Sherman, um, uh, start putting that together, uh, paint the railway wagon, um, paint the tracks and the dead end, uh, probably start working on some of the groundwork, um, paint the, the three figures that I've got for this dio, and, uh, and then start detailing uh, the train station and the brickwork and start doing some details in there. So uh, let's get cracking.
Okay, so we're about 60%, 65% of the way through the build at the moment. Uh, so far, so good. Um, the station platforms, they're pretty much done now, uh, plus uh, a lot of the groundwork and obviously the track. Um, I've still got work to do, obviously, on the Sherman, um, paint that up, uh, paint up the American figures, uh, the soldiers, and also to detail the corner here uh, with some plants and vegetation uh, from Diorama, uh, Diorama Presip, I think it's pronounced, um, plus the accessories from Mini Art, and I've also got myself um, a telegraph pole that's just going to go into the corner there as well. Um, and also to uh, paint up or varnish rather, probably give it a wood stain, the edging, and give all that a nice finish. Um, so that's all to come in the next and the final part, uh, video in, fi in part three. Um, to complete this video, all I've got to do is to paint up um, or finish painting and weathering the railway wagon, and probably paint up our German guy, um, and then that'll be it for part two. You may have seen in my first video for this build, I included a video of a trip I made to a local German bunker here in Jersey um, to show some of the fortic fortifications we have here. Um, thought it might have been some interest to some of you. Uh, well, the positive comments and the feedback I got from, uh, from that uh, were really nice. Uh, prompted me to go and visit another one to show. Uh, this time, this was a larger naval battery about, uh, about 10 minutes away from where I live. So hoping you enjoyed this as much as I did. A uh, great bit of World War II history um, before coming back to finishing up here.
Thank you.